Hey friends, we are in the San Blas Islands and life is good. A regular yoga practice always means we've found balance in our lives again. And with calm, crystal clear water, new friends, and the promise of a good meal together this evening, our shakedown cruise aboard Boundless couldn't be better. The morning was slow, and after picking up some ridiculously big loaves of focaccia bread we ordered last night, and waking Kai up from his beauty sleep to deliver his portion. Getting your beauty sleep, eh? Pretty much. We piled into our little dinghy after some tinkering with the outboard engine, and set off in search of some cool beaches and reef to explore. But first, there's something I would like to address. On September 10th, 2021, we sailed our previous boat Sea Wind across Lake Erie to Buffalo, New York, where we got onto the Erie Barge Canal and navigated its numerous bridges and locks across 340 miles of waterway. I knew nothing of video production and I had never used an actual camera but I always had my iPhone's camera rolling because the thought of somehow capturing this adventure of ours felt right. I left my work in my hometown. And when we left, we were living completely off of Katie's remote online work income. Thankfully, our relationship was built on open conversations of how people change with the passing of time. And when Katie told me, I got us, Use this space in your life to create something new. I started making these YouTube videos and decided to make 100 of them, no complaints. I figured that would be about two years of weekly content and enough time to see if I enjoyed it, hopefully learning a thing or two in the process, and see if it's possible to make some money. Now, here we are, and I am making my 100th video. So much has happened since that first video in Tonawanda, New York, and our channel is blossoming into something that I couldn't even have imagined. I am proud of my work more and more week after week. So to everyone out there watching this video, whether you've been with us since day one or this is your first time seeing my face, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Okay, hey everybody. We have not filled up our water tank since we left Shelter Bay. Uh, we have two tanks on Boundless. They're right underneath me, side by side, port and starboard. 70 or 75 gallons a piece. The starboard tank is at about a quarter of a tank. So we, although we have a lot of water left, we don't necessarily want to wait too long and get too far away from Shelter Bay or somewhere we can get parts if we need to before we try the system. 
we're gonna try to start the water maker up. It is a Spectra brand. And this is supposed to be a half turn open. Drum dishing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a couple of pre-filters. This is for fresh water flushing. This one is the pre-filter for the raw seawater. And we have two pumps. Here's the first and here's the second, both with individual switches. And they are the feed pumps from the salt water from the ocean to the actual water maker. So you can run them both in tandem or one at a time. And then this long black tube here is the actual membrane. And then this here is what's called the Clark pump. Uh, the Clark pump is what makes the high pressure that goes through the membrane. And then we have a switching valve here to go to the sink for testing the water. And then you switch the valve the other way to go into the tanks. We are going to, without further ado, acquaint ourselves with the sounds and the sights of our water maker running for the first time. Everything's, I, I feel like I need to check and, and recheck and check and recheck. I'm gonna go see outside. Okay. That, it is indeed pumping. Okay, water coming out. Hey Siri, start a timer for 20 minutes. I'm going to turn this little black knob right here and you will watch the pressure start to rise. So you can see here that it's saying that we're making about 16 gallons an hour. Seems to be working so far. It says that the system will pressurize to between 90 and 100 PSI and the water should flow out of the sampling tube. If the vessel is located in brackish or fresh water, the pressure will be lower. Allow the system to run for 10 minutes and then test the product with your handheld salinity tester. When the product is below 750 parts per million, it is considered potable and ready to drink. Quieter now that uh, it's all pressurized, huh? Yeah. What do you think so far? Okay, so we're at 600 parts per million, 605 actually, and they say below 750, you can drink it. It's like wine, you have to like squish it around and actually it tastes just as clean as any water I've ever had. For coming from salt water, I think that's pretty damn good. Yeah. So we'll put it into our tanks and watch the, watch the gauge rise. The really cool thing is you have those individual pumps that you can turn on and off. So if one of them goes bad, you have a redundancy and you can still make half of it. So if you run one, you'll be making around eight or nine gallons an hour. If you run both, you make around 18 gallons an hour. So the redundancy is really cool to have. Making water. Here's a Katie bomb. Tell you what, it was super cold sick in Tiga. <laughs> How'd you sleep? <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. I had like a bit of a tummy bug, so I went to bed early. I think it was some undercooked fish. Maybe. I don't Happy know. Happy Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. And then there was a squall, and then we slept a little bit, and then there was a lightning storm. Now we saw a little bit and there's more lightning. <laughs> We're getting to know Boundless more. She's proving herself to us. It's almost like we have to prove ourselves to her. Yeah, it's really like we have to prove ourselves to her. We actually moved to a different part of the Anchorage. We were kind of close to our friends on Contigo. We both decided to pick up Anchor and move to a more open part of the bay. We didn't film coming over here. It's literally like a quarter mile from where we were. Uh, oh. There we go. That might have not been in focus, sorry. Laying down the anchor is becoming more, what would you say, we're becoming more experienced at it, right? Yeah. How to jive, how to dance with like uh, the electric windlass, letting the chain out. Um, and Katie is doing an amazing job on the helm, backing down on the anchor and not letting the chain pile up on top of the anchor. Katie's rolling <laughs> fruit. Easiest ways to, get... to do it with your foot. Panamanian oranges, they're green, and then, then when they, as they ripen, they turn yellow. You don't eat them like an orange, you don't peel them and eat them. They're juicy. But they are more so like a juice and orange. Thing. Sweetie. 
It's so sweet. So sweet. One of those picturesque moments of seeing your boat anchored in a bay from the island you're exploring. We came to Ramiro's family island here in the Hollandaise Keys after he welcomed us to his home last week. The island is something out of a fairy tale, and walking on the well-worn paths around its perimeter with families and children passing by was a very cool experience. They all seem to be very happy living a very simple life, in balance with Mother Nature and the ocean. <laughs> These highly decorative beads that adorn the Guna women wrists and ankles are called weenies. Traditionally, Guna women begin wearing them as they reach maturity or begin their coming of age. They are said to protect them from evil energy and spirits. Weenies are also a large part of the economy here and are frequently sold to travelers. I still have one on my wrist and ankle that I don't plan on taking off anytime soon. Oh. Yeah, it's mama. Oh. <laughs> the next day, after another stunning sunset and admiring our beautiful floating home, we got a call on the radio from a couple other young cruisers on a warm TD 43 catamaran. All right, nice job, dude. Thanks. I need something to drink. Yeah. They were going for a sail and wanted to know if we wanted to tag along. Boundless feels more like our boat these days. And without further ado, here's Parker in all of his whitey tidy glory sailing our new boat. Are we doing this for the first time? We're doing it. We're sailing. We We're doing three knots in six knots of wind. Yeah, this is actually the first time we've ever shut the engine off with the sails up on this boat. Yeah, she does. She's nimble for a heavy girl, huh? Four knots. Next morning was our first day back to work after the holiday, and as if on cue, Mother Nature turned on the wind. With 25 knots in the anchorage, we had to trust our anchor while we concentrated on staring at our computers. It was a tough first day back. 
Arthur made a fabulous dinner tonight. It's called Sad Spaghetti, and that means when we're feeling sad, homesick, or just like hard day, it's spaghetti. And he made this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful homemade sauce with like whole canned Italian tomatoes, tomato uh, sauce, garlic, onions, uh, all kinds of herbs, lentils. It's like super hearty, so we'll have that for a few days, which is great. And then this spaghetti is not your average spaghetti. This is Misco Spaghetti, which is Parker's last name. Spaghetti tubes, uh, and they look like little snakes, and they're very cool. <laughs> All right there. <laughs> it's Greek wheat. Um. You just did your Ancestry.com. My like, parents both did. Right, but I mean, you did yours a while ago and yeah. you found out that you are a little Greek. I am, yeah. Interesting to think about where our family name really originated from, huh? Yeah. And I always thought that I was German, but I'm not at all. Not one part, not one, even 1%. One Beautiful. Is it a good sauce? Mm-hmm. You're gonna love it. Okay, so we've been wanting to get down to Green Island where some of our friends are and the wind has picked up this morning. It would be a downwind sail and I start calling the 1015 and our anchor was chain was wrapped around coral and so we started to like just fix our anchor chain. If we're gonna have to fix our chain and pull most of it up, like we might as well just go. It'd be like a little over an hour down there. So we're going sailing this morning <laughs> for about an hour. Yeah. It's like seven. It's like seven miles. An hour and a half. Hour and a half, maybe. Are you ready? Let's do this. Lot of friction in that. Can I put it in neutral? Yeah, neutral. All right, go ahead and do the honors, love. Yee! Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> How about that for a morning before your calls? I know. <laughs> this is nice with the main sheet here. I can actually control it. It's it's actually great. Careful, because it's going to want to run, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can just let it out. There you go. Awesome. Okay, we're actually past the shallow point so we can hard lift it. The wind is filling up your shirt. <laughs> I have to log on to work when we anchor and I have calls and stuff and it says, oh, Katie, how'd you, how'd you spend your morning? <laughs> oh, it's nothing, nothing at all. Just going for a brisk sail. Just screaming across the, the bay at seven and a half knots, right. pulling our dinghy that is uh, surfing down the waves behind us. I love heart palpitations before coffee. <laughs> healthy. This is the healthy kind of stress. It is a very healthy kind of stress. Can't seem to get the mainsail ticks to fly, those red flag things. I think they might be um, frayed and sticking to the canvas, sticking to the Dacron. I'm gonna have to look at that. Boundless is a freight train. There's a gust, 19. Oh, oh, 20. 7.8 just now.
We kind of forgot about Dingy. Look at that catamaran. I know. All sails up too. Yeah. Three and a half weeks have passed in the San Blas, and we are really beginning to find our sea legs again. Navigating boundless through tricky passes and into crowded anchorages is becoming more natural. We are learning her beautiful personality just as she is learning ours. Nearly every anchorage had Kuna people coming out to greet us and sell their catch. All right, our friends here have a bunch of lobsters. <laughs> You never know what boat's gonna come up to you here in the San Blas and sell you lobsters for four bucks a piece. We're gonna kill us a couple lobsters. Oh, yeah. That's okay. I cooked up lobster pasta with lots of garlic and onions, olive oil, herbs, and spices. It was delicious. This is what they talk about. This is what they say when they twirling lobster. Oh, yeah, with tongs. A couple days later, our water maker stopped working because of a leak in the strainer basket that was not repairable. We were now on limited fresh drinking water. Regardless of all the work we've put into Boundless, the purpose of our shakedown cruise is to see what the weak links are in all of our systems. San Blas is remote enough that we rely on being self-sufficient, and we want things to break now rather than when we aren't a couple days from where we can get packages. So our days are numbered in this beautiful archipelago. We spent them having beach fires and meeting more wonderful people. The photo, it was a photo, now it's a video. Yeah, we do video things. Yeah, do video things, yeah. I don't know how to do it. Who wants some pineapples? It's pretty hot, so watch it. Oh, it is hot. Did you like yours? Yeah, that's fine enough. It is smoky pineapple. Smoky pineapple is a good description. It's really good, man. It's really good. All right. And preparing food for our upcoming sail back to Linton and then Shelter Bay. So okay. we have like this goat cheese, this block of the goat cheese. And then we have pinto beans, organic pinto beans. We have veggies like fajitas, which is like red onion, yellow onion, peppers, and some cabbage. And garlic. And garlic, lots of garlic. And they're seasoned, right, with like that chili stuff. And then we have scrambled eggs. And then we'll put, probably have some, we have some salsa in the fridge that we'll eat with it. I like your burrito folding face. It's very Is serious. it very focused? Very focused, yes. <laughs> it was very serious business. Mm -hmm. That's funny. We're gonna do a bunch of sailing this weekend and we're very bad at meal prepping when we sail. So we're trying to be better at that. So we don't get like hangry or malnourish ourselves.
we just went spear fishing with our friend Kai. Didn't take any cameras with us because to be honest, it's very hard to film and learn at the same time. <laughs> and also, you know, like, it's kind of scary. So we just didn't take any cameras with us. But Kai shot three lionfish. Look at this big one. So lionfish are an invasive species. They have these poisonous tines and they aren't aggressive, but they are basically killing reefs because they eat all the reef fish and they have no natural predators. Two small ones and a big one here. He gave them to us because we had never, we don't, we've never had them before. And then we shot this big crab. What you do, because you don't want to get stabbed by any of these tines, is you just cut off using some wire cutters and you just toss all the stuff overboard and then they become safely filletable. But all of these are super sharp. And poisonous, apparently. Really? Yeah. So here's the ceviche we made yesterday. It's uh, lime juice, passion fruit, cabbage, onion, and the lionfish. It is so good. We hope you enjoyed part two of our San Blas sailing adventures and my 100th episode as Sailing Sea Wind. We just rolled over 20,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, and we are speechless. I started this with no other intentions than to be creative and feel purposeful. I had no idea that it would turn into a growing community who continually shows their love and support to all of you, no matter if you're new or not, thank you. If you liked this video, hit that like button. It really makes a difference. And if you aren't yet, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post. Subscribing is totally free and the easiest way to support us. And leave a comment because we love hearing what you have to say. And to our patrons who monetarily support our videos every week, thank you. A huge shout out to all of you. If you're interested in supporting us monetarily, you can head over to patron.com forward slash sailing seawind to buy us a coffee or choose the tier of your liking. As time has passed, we have added more and more to our patron perks. And one of those that is pretty new, but very awesome is our predict wind tracking link. So as a member, you will be able to see real time where we are with live updates while we are out there sailing. Next week, we enjoy a beautiful sunset swim around our floating home and reluctantly have to say goodbye to our friends and the beautiful San Blas archipelago. And Boundless shows us what she's made of during two days of glorious sailing along Panama's northern coast, heading back to Shelter Bay for our biggest adventure yet, the Panama Canal. You won't want to miss it. 